Item is being withdrawn by the applicant and like will likely resubmit the application at a future date. This was for the SWL Restaurant Incorporating doing this as fantastic seafood restaurant for a common picture license at the premise located at 297 Newport Avenue. Again, um, this application is being withdrawn by the applicant. So we will move ahead to agenda item number two here regarding the request of the William R. Caddy Detachment Building Fund Corp. 111 Newberry Ave for a change of manager on their all alcohol beverage license to Lawrence Cunningham. Lawrence Cunningham. Um, he is right on. He, he is, is on. Yes. Hi, Mr. Cunningham. Um, why don't you tell us um, what's going on at the Caddy Post these days? Uh, well, we're changing managers due to uh, the last manager passed away. Oh, very sorry to hear that. Um, and that was Wayne Gauthier. Okay, and how long did Wayne serve as manager? Uh, ten years that I was there, he was in there. Oh, very nice. Well, I'm sure that they've um, they've missed him, and I'm sure that you'll do a very good job. I'll try so Um So, with that. Um, do, are there any plans for anything new happening there? Uh, no. I'm going to keep all it's, the same. Right. It's a small club. and Yeah. Just change the manager. Yes. Okay. Are there any questions or concerns from anyone in the audience regarding um, the William R. Caddy post for a change of manager to Lawrence Cunningham? Seeing none. Any uh, board members would like to speak on behalf of um, the city in regards to the William R. Caddy post for new manager Lawrence Cunningham. Seeing none, looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of the William R. Caddy Detachment Building Fund Corp. 111 Newberry Ave for a change of manager on their all alcoholic beverages club license to Lawrence Cunningham, represented by Lawrence Cunningham. Second on the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, that will be all set. Mr. Cunningham, if you could please reach out to the administrative um, secretary, Susan Kindergarten, for your new license. Thank you. Thank you. Agenda item number three here in the, regarding the request of Copeland Package Store, Inc., 273 Copeland Street for a change of manager on their all-alcohol beverage package store license to John A. Carson. Dennis Carson and J John Carson, are you available to speak to this matter? I think so, Nicole. I'm not sure. I'm not that technologically savvy, but <laughs> I hear you. I've always been in person. <laughs> I hear you, Dennis. <laughs> um, why don't you tell us what's happening at, at the open uh, package store? Uh, Dennis? Well, what's happening is um, I'm feeling 47 years has been a long enough time. So, okay. Um, my youngest son, John, which is here with me, is going to start to take over the reins, and I feel that is to turn the major and, you know, let him do what he needs to do to learn the business like I did. Okay. All right. Thank you, Dennis. And um, it, does anyone in the audience have any questions or concerns with regards to Copeland Package Store, 273 Copeland Street, for a change of manager from Dennis Cotson to John Cotson? Uh, Deputy Chief Vitro? Yes. Good. Yes, uh, Inspector Wong uh, would just like to uh, have him finish up a couple of small items. Uh, he'd like to submit a fire alarm test report. Um, get his fire extinguished as expected. He had his emergency lights fixed. Well, 
And Other than that, everything else is set to go. Kitty. Dennis, you're breaking up a little I'm bit. Kitty. Kitty. He, he showed up Friday. It, oh, um, um, yes. Is that better, Nicole? Okay. He, uh, he showed up Friday at 3, and like I said, I'm trying to back out a little bit, so I had gone to the Cape for the weekend. So the fire extinguishers have all been dropped off at Gorham's. Um, my 30 years of hospital experience, um, my exit signs have been replaced and fixed, and um, the, the light has been replaced. The only thing is uh, the report, and I never knew that we needed an annual test, but um, Sounder handles it and is did, did the installation, and I spoke to them, and they're going to put it on an annual test schedule. They maintain it and do any repairs for me that I need. Okay. Thank you, Dennis. So any other questions or concerns? Of course, we will have that contingent on the test and um, the sign off for the, um, the uh, fire extinguishes um, and any other um, requests from the fire department contingent on the license uh, going into John's name. Any other questions or concerns? Cole? Yes. Yeah, I'd just like to wish Dennis well that his son's half the businessman and runs half the establishment that he has over a long, long period of time. It's We're going to be great there. Thank you for your service, Dennis. We appreciate it. I concur. Thank you, Chief. I appreciate it. Good luck. What a good friends I made. You did. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Looking for a motion. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Copeland Package Store, Inc., 273 Copeland Street, for a change of manager on their all alcoholic beverages package store license to John A. Carson, represented by Dennis Carson. And John Carson. Second on the motion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Best of luck, Dennis and uh, John. Aye. Once you have those sign offs, pick them up and see Susan Kim again. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nick, I'll, I'll still Bye, set Nicole. everything into the ABCC. I won't hold it, it up. Once I get the approval from the state, I'll reach back out. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. No problem. Next is agenda item number four here regarding the request of RICON Inc. doing business as the presidential pub for a common victual license for the premise located at 29 Temple Street. Um, James O'Malley is unable to attend today. His location is closed and currently making updates to, uh, to comply with the requirements to serve food, um, which they will be adding a CV license. Issuance of the license and ability to reopen contingent upon inspection. Um, as you know, um, due to COVID, the bars have been closed, and so Jesse is working hard to update um, to serve food there at uh, the presidential pub. And Susan is and Ruthie are working with him, um, and uh, I understand he can't be here today. But if anyone has any questions and concerns in the audience or board members, please. Uh, bring them forward. Seeing none. Looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Rikon Inc. DBA Presidential Pub for a common victual license for the premises located at 29 Temple Street, represented by James O'Malley. Second on the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Aye. Next is agenda item number five. A hearing regarding the request of 30, uh, Franklin 35 Realty LLC doing business as Franklin 35. 
45 to 39 Franklin Street, Lawrence Agnetti, manager of Bar. We'll have three different votes here. Um, number one is a transfer of on premise all alcohol beverage license pre presently held by EMH Corp doing business as Delaney's Pub. A common virtual license and a cabaret license. Proposed hours for operation are 8 a.m. to 1 a.m., 10 a.m. on Sundays. Robert Hanez and Lawrence Agnetti will be representing. Any questions? Oh, why don't I give Lawrence Agnetti the, and um, Attorney Hanez the opportunity to speak on what's going to be going on at Franklin 35. Madam Chairman, uh, good afternoon to members of the board. Good afternoon. Uh, Lawrence Agnetti and his brother, uh, Tony Agnetti, have purchased the property at 35 Franklin Street. They are in the process of redeveloping that, that property into a restaurant. Uh, Ms. Agnetti, Ms. Lawrence Agnetti, that applied for this license, has had a license in the city in the past. He had a Mondo's restaurant here, I think that was back in 97, approximately around that time. And he's looking for the transfer of the license to all but of a full a full restaurant at that location. And right now, since they purchased it, they also purchased the license from the previous owner. Would ask that the board look at it. We submitted the plans and what the restaurant would be like, and uh, I would ask the board to review it and approve it. Thank you. Um, any questions from anyone in the audience regarding uh, Franklin 35 or 35 to 39 Franklin Street. If I could add one thing to the board, if I could. Uh, we met with the board council and we indicated it will not, it's going to have a whole different clientele that's been there in the past. This is going to be a family restaurant. It will not have the same clientele. Thank you. Mr. Hanas, how many seats do you plan on putting in there? At this point uh, on the application, I'm going to ask Mr. Kennedy if he wants to answer that. I think he knows more specifically as to where they want to go with this. Yeah, we're looking at, I believe it's between 95 and 99 seats. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get that type of density, but uh, that's what the, I believe that's what the previous owner had over there. And when are you planning on opening, Mr. Agnetti? Well, it's been a little tough to come up with a good schedule on it, but we'd like to try and get something going up there, you know, just past the first of the year. Mr. Regnetti, um, if you could just touch base with the health department once you get going, because um, we need to see your plans, we need to talk to you about what you're going to do, and then you'll need to submit your certifications and get a license from the health department also. Sure thing. Thank you. Mr. Agnetti, how much, um, how much uh, re renovation are you planning on doing? Uh, complete renovation? Are you reconfiguring um, the space? Uh, to a certain extent, yeah, yes. Um, we had to go in there with uh, and just kind of figure out what was in the place. And um, we, we basically, we, we've, we've done some, uh, we've done a little bit of demo work in there just to try and figure out what it was comprised of. And it's looking like there's not much that's gonna be able to be kept from Delaney, so uh, it's going to be a, a pretty close to a complete renovation. No, no real structural changes, um, but just more aesthetic. So I may recommend that we keep the same seating uh, occupant load right now uh, because we don't have any plans, or it's hard to put a number on it. But we, I guess, we could keep it the same occupant load now, and you could always come back and change it uh, depending on the uh, renovations and the seating plan. Sure thing. Jay, what was the occupancy low right now? I don't have that in front of me. Um, oh, 98, you said though? 98. 98, okay. What about a parking plan? Have you looked at where you're gonna put all these cars with hopefully you'll be a successful business? Uh, no, right now there is no real parking. Um, there was no parking for Delaney's and um, currently there is no space for parking at all street parking and um, stuff like that. How about behind the building next to it? I think you own that too, right? Yeah, we, we kind of offer that as a caveat to it. Um, not really sure at, at certain times of the day that building is uh, is occupied and some of the space is taken, but 
at night it frees up quite a bit. So that's always something that would be offering up. For, for probably for, um, for your employees and whatnot, would that be okay? Yeah, yes, it would be. I'm just a little concerned because it's somewhat congested there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully you're successful and you use all 98 seats. Yeah, I know. Perhaps you make a plan with the with the tea room or with the um, bank. Bank across the street. Yeah, the bank yeah. to come up with some parking for, you know, evening patrons. Sure. Um, I look forward to seeing the whole plan. Um, and um, I know that um, Mr. Agnetti has always done a great job down there and um, look forward to working with him and you on this um, restaurant. So um, if anybody else has any questions, concerns, what, what is it? Are you looking for entertainment as well? I noticed the cabaret is part of it. What are you looking for that? Um, we're really, I mean, since, since the prior owner had the cabaret license, that's part of the reason why we're looking for it. We've, uh, in the past, when we had our other restaurant um, in Quincy Center, uh, it was usually a one person or a two person type of band coming in, soft music, nothing loud or crazy. We're not trying to attract that type of a crowd. We're, we're looking for, you know, um, uh, 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 a more controlled crowd, uh, dining, maybe a drink or two, and then then out. We're not looking for a, a real place to come down, sit down, and have a whole bunch of drinks. So it would be something softer. Are you looking for an outdoor deck as well at some point? Yeah, not I don't know what's behind there. I haven't been back there in years. Yeah, not at the moment. I don't. We really don't have. I, I don't even know where we could put anything like that. So can't really see it in the plan. Okay. Looking for a motion. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Franklin 35 Realty LLC DBA Franklin 35, 3539 Franklin Street, Lawrence Agnitti Manager for one, a transfer of the on-premises all alcoholic beverage restaurant license presently held by EMH Corp, DBA Delaney's Pub. Second. <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Franklin 35 Realty LLC, DBA Franklin 35, 3539 Franklin Street, Lawrence Agnity Manager for a common victual license. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'd like to make a motion to grant the request of Franklin 35 Realty LLC, DBA Franklin 35, 3539 Franklin Street, Lawrence Agnitti, manager for a cabaret license. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, you're all set. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Best of luck there. Thank you. We do have, um, that does conclude uh, the agenda items this evening. Um, we do have other business. One is, um, to update the rescheduled events, Best Buddies bike ride rescheduled for September 26th has canceled for 2020. And fashion show on Marina Bay Boardwalk from May 15th to Thursday, September 17th with a rain date of September 18th. Um, Ms. Haja has resubmitted a plan and it is COVID, uh, COVID compliant. So, uh, she is working with the health department on that and reopen licenses. Um, I'd like to turn it to um, Commissioner Jones. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Um, so just to give an update, um, Man at Lunch, Hofbrau and Malachy's have all reopened. Um, I just want to say that when all three closed, um, they were compliant with anything that we asked them to do. Um, they have uh, met all the requirements to reopen, and we've had no further issues um, with any cases at any of these three places. So, um, and they they all closed um, on their own. So we appreciate their cooperation in this matter. Um, as everyone knows, there's there's some changes because of the governor's guidelines. There were about eight facilities that had rules um, because of the changes in the guidelines for bars 
we are um, actively working with many of these places to um, see if we can help them to meet the guidelines for a restaurant. And so um, we're working with quite a few and hopefully we'll see some more of these places open. So, and we're just going with minimal guidelines so that they can reopen um, as quickly as possible, but um, still meet the requirements. Excellent. Thank you so much, Ruth. Mm -hmm. um, looking for a motion to waive the reading and approve minutes from the July 14th hearing. Motion made. Thank you. All in favor? All in favor. Aye. 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 Uh, I think that um, congratulations are in order for Lieutenant Tarowski. Became a grandpa. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Peter. Congratulations. Congratulations, Peter. Nice name. Yes, it is. Very good. No complaints there. What's the baby's name? Peter John. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good luck. Looking for a motion right. to you. adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Bye. 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 Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.